I feel like those of us who are over packers or let's say generous packers always get a bad rap for how we pack. And yet sometimes, I hate to use the words not our fault, but sometimes there are very valid reasons and very valid things to pack. And I wanted to go ahead and talk about it since um, I'm traveling and I have packed generously. Um, now, some of these are just specific to my life because I have things to shoot for the blog. But I think these things can also apply to just if you have an event, like if you're going away for a wedding or if you're going away um, for something special, if you have an event that you're going to. And of course, every trip is different. For the record, if I'm just going to the beach, I can pack light. This is a trip, for instance, um, where I've gone to LA. Now, if you don't know, um, I used to live full time in LA and now I spend anywhere from a week to 10 days there every few months or every so often. Um, and it's an interesting trip because I've lived a life here. I have friends and workouts and things that I do. So there are things that I need. So let's talk about packing for that or what would that look like? What are my tips and things you can leave or not leave? So first of all, if you're going somewhere where you're gonna work out, the first thing to pack is always workout clothes. And I do that in spades. The thing that I would say a, that you could tip yourself with, or if you want to pack lighter here, is that you could obviously put yourself in position to do laundry. That's not always an option for me. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Um, but also packing great leggings that are cute. Um, these are some golden sheep leggings um, that I can wear as an outfit. Help. They help a lot. Um, on that note, I always pack a sweatshirt no matter where I'm going for the most part, unless it's like August, mainly because I know that I personally am gonna get cold. This is a Gucci one. Um, clean underwear, more than enough clean underwear. But I think that you need a sweatshirt and if that's an extra thing, so be it. Um, for me personally then, if I'm traveling, a lot of times I'm shooting where I'm traveling, which is an interesting thing because that means sometimes I'm taking specific outfits that I'm not gonna wear anywhere else or specific shoes that I'm not gonna get wear anywhere else. Uh, lately, I've been making a concentrated effort to make sure the things that I'm shooting are things that I'm wearing, but it doesn't always end up that way. For example, if you're going to a wedding, there may be an outfit you're wearing just to that wedding or just to that gala or just to that thing that you're not wearing anywhere else. And the fact of the matter is you have to pack it. So pack it. Um, look, airlines who let you pack bags for free, Southwest, or I'm sorry, check bags for free, Southwest, they're there for a reason. Um, so I have the things that I'm going to shoot and I'm not going to show them to you full out because you're going to see them later, but here we go. Woohoo! Things I'm going to shoot. Now I am lucky that I can always wear usually the shoes that I'm going to shoot with more than one time. Uh, but what else do I think that you should not be ashamed of overindulging when you pack or, or, or pack all the time? Um, I'm a big believer that a robe and my favorite is the kimono because if God forbid something comes up and you need a new dress, the kimono with a belt will do it. Um, pack yourself a robe. If you're in a hotel, if you're in your friend's house, if you're at mom's house, you're always going to need it. That also being said, jackets. Jackets. This one happens to be linen because it's spring, but it is lined and it's a little bit thicker. I also have a blazer that I happen to wear on the plane. Um, that was perfect. Also, these can be worn as tops. They can be worn um, with almost everything that I've packed. Um, and there's a reason for that, that even though I like to pack heavy, or I tend to pack heavy, I should say, there are always there's always method to the madness. And don't be afraid to indulge yourself in that. You know, take what you need. Um, in the season that we're in, sometimes it's hard to know what to pack. So I love to bring... This is a little Reformation top that is pretty hard to see um, in this background, but it's a turtleneck and it's lightweight, but it's heavy enough. So with spring weather where you never kind of know where, what it's going to be right now, it's super windy. It's the perfect thing to have. Obviously shoes, obviously shoes, a dress for going home and my appointments there. Um, this is a new face thing. I love to bring these on trips because then no matter how tired I am, because let's be honest, no matter, even if it's someplace that you go regularly, traveling makes you look tired. The new face um, can help with that. And we'll do a video on that later. Um, I always pack an extra sweater. I like mine to have personalities, so dinos. But more importantly, 
since I know that I tend to, again, overindulge when I pack, I'm beginning to think of when I go on trips, even if they're work trips, even if they're somewhere like LA where I, I partially kind of live, um, I'm trying to think of what outfits can I play with? What looks can I play with? If I'm somewhere for five to six to 10 days, who could I be that trip that maybe I'm not indulging in at home? So this trip in particular, I have decided to bring vintage denim, which is super fun. And then I thought to myself, what would be fun to play with in that silhouette um, are maybe some big tops. So I've brought tops. This one, um, I will post a picture of it. It is a turtleneck, it's Gucci, but it's sheer, but big neck. And this is the same thing, kind of a big neck, open neck thing that I can wear with, I also brought a pair of black pants because I think a good pair of black pants and a good pair of jeans, you always need. Pack light, pack heavy, you always need both of those. That also being said, I think packing at least one to two white t-shirts, these are my favorite um, shoes by the way, um, one to two white t-shirts is always a good idea because you can pair them with anything. I know that if I'm just running out and I have a random errand to run, I can throw on jeans and a white tee, a great pair of flats, be done with it. Because the fact of the matter is, guys, we need something. If you are staying for more than a few days, the chances are you need something like a great white tee, you need a great pair of flats, you need a great pair of heels, you need a jacket, you need a great base. So instead of beating myself up for overindulging when I pack, I'm beginning to look at it as I'm beginning to pack smarter, even if I'm packing more. Even if I'm saying to myself, what are the possibilities here? What can I mix and match? What two great bases? So here I have two great pairs of pants over here. I have two great pairs of pants. What can I mix and match with those? What uh, things can I play in with that then I can build a little mini wardrobe around? And then I have extra fun things like the things that I'm shooting with to do that also with. I would love to know what are your packing tips? How do you plan for long trips? What do you see as your role is when you pack her? And are you an overindulger? Let's chat about it. And um, the blog investment piece, there's so much more there. Instagram, so much more there. Also Instagram, if you wanna see how I made all these things into outfits, check me out there. It's Rachel out Alicia. I hope the next trip you go on is seamless and then they give you lots of um, peanuts or pretzels or whatever you like on the plane and that um, whatever packing you did, it was absolutely perfect. Till next time.